I'm going to show you how to quickly and painlessly shape the side lobe structure of an Equiripple FIR digital filter. I'm going to do this with Sketchafilt, which is already set up here for low pass design. I've got it set in particular up in the right hand corner for a sample frequency of 128 samples per second. This is to link us to a particular design which we're going to try to emulate here, which is the one that you'll find in the very excellent book called Multi-Rate Signal Processing by Professor Fred Harris of San Diego State University. And this design is going to be on page 66. And you see the designs in figure 323 there. So we need the particular parameters, which I've been told I can go over here and find the uh, end of the pass band to be 5 hertz in this scheme of things. And uh, the onset of the stop band will be at 7.5 hertz. I'm not going to have a frequency sampling design because I want an equi-ripple design, which I'm going to get using Parks McClellan or Remez design which I can tune in here under my user def. I just right clicked on that edit button and I'm going up here to number nine it currently is, which is my Equi Ripple FIR low pass. And I invoke that with a click. And now I'm beginning to get there. I have Unity waiting in the pass band uh, for the Remez algorithm. And I'm going to set the stop band to be four, which I'm told is needed to uh, exactly go along with what we see in the Harris book. I also need a budget of 155 coefficients, which I go up here in the upper right hand corner. And now I've got it. I don't recognize it yet. I better go to DB uh, and choose that. And furthermore, click off the auto scale so it doesn't get disturbed. So there we have exactly what you see in the left hand panel of figure 323 in that book. And you see the nice uh, 60 dB side lobes. I'd like also to see the pass band. And I do this by invoking this tool up here, quality measure tool. And sure enough, uh, up it comes showing me that there is, as you will see also uh, in the Harris book, a uh, ripple here of about 0.037 or so peak ripple in the pass band. So I'm able to see these alongside as I make other changes to it. I'm going to keep track of the pass band because I'm going to focus my attention primarily out here in the stop band and I'm going to try to make that go down as a 1 over F or 1 over frequency profile and I do that by linear weighting in the Remez algorithm. I do the calculations for that in the profile calculator so I have a button up here. I click this and bring it in. At the moment <clears throat> I'm I have uh, various things which have come in uh, sort of irrelevant to our problem. So I'm going to bring an F here for the special symbol. I'm going to divide it by 7.5. And the reason I do that, that's what gives me a ratio of 1 right at the stop band edge. Because that's that parameter I had of the uh, stop band onset. <clears throat> I'm going to put this into uh, the trace B. And I'll furthermore have it a few, a couple more in case I need it. I'll just drag and drop them there. I can clear this accumulator now in case I have to make some other calculations later on. But right now I have now a linear sweep uh, which I'm going to apply to the passband. And I do this by going back. Take that out of the way. Let's just remember that's a straight line. Come back in here. Uh, right click on the menu down here and go from flat stop band to shape stop band. And there it is, boom. That's exactly what you see in the uh, Harris book. And that design is now ready for those 155 coefficients. That's the finished product. Uh, we could, however, play around with this a little bit. As is mentioned in the book, if you change this stop band weighting and move it a little bit, then we shouldn't have too much change in the pass band. Let's just see if that actually works out. I'll right click on this so I get myself a slider. And now as I move this, I can see that I'm moving down by putting more weighting here uh, on the stop band, but the pass band is scarcely moving at all. So it is very nice and resilient as I make these changes. Oh, not quite. I need to update it. Well, since I have to do a manual update, let me just go up here to setup 
and automatically update for each change. That's a more fair thing. I come in here and as I move it I see the changes and sure enough there's some flashing here but even with quite a big drop down of the stop band here I'm getting the stop band only uh, the pass band only slightly changing. So I can go back to my case of four get back to where I started from and go and see if I would, could put something more dramatic than a 1 over F weighting on this. So I go back to the target profile calculator and now I have trace B which I'm going to pick up this the uh, curve from but I'm going to change that. I'm going to have an A uh, sorry, a, clear that. Uh, I'll do a B times uh, C, no D, which is right underneath it and store that back in B. Now I've got a parabola and I can invoke this parabola back on this. Remember what this looked like. This is coming down here to about minus 70 dB. I unclick and re-click and now it's coming down much more dramatically. I could go even further with this. I could do another such multiply. Same multiply as before. Put it back in B. Now I've got a cubic. Come back here. Turn it off. Turn it back on have a look here, turn it back on, and there is a very dramatic change. That of course can also be uh, moved up and down by slider and make it very deep indeed. What could be easier?